one of my life's dreams, one of my major goals is to write and direct a Babe Ruth biopic. Greatest hitters ever. Because they that, did one with uh, it's what's horrible. his name? It's ho- John Goodman. John it's, Goodman. It's a joke. I thought it was alright. No, but it's I saw but, it but it's very, not who kid. he. But it's not who he was. Like we have this idea of Babe Ruth as like the fat guy eating eating hot dogs and like larger than life, dude. Professional sports, as they exist today, do not exist without Babe Ruth. You guys do not have the job that you have mm. without Babe Ruth. This guy was. A larger-than-life cult of personality, the likes of which has very seldom been seen on this planet. This guy took a game that, at the time, was thought of as, like, very rude. It was a crude game. It was a white trash game. It was Ty Baseball. Cobb. Yes. And Ty t- Cobb was before Babe Ruth? Yeah, right in the beginning. It was Ty Cobb and then Babe Ruth. And, he, and he, Babe Ruth going to Broadway in New York, coming out of that first little depression that we had in the 1919s, coming out of World War One, he created this spectacle of American greatness, like this idea of, you know, like the, the America first, the grandiose, the Ty Cobb was 20s. a nasty motherfucker. Nasty dude. Now he that's would, a he, great movie. He would, Cobb? He, he, yeah, with uh, J- Tommy Lee Jones. That's a great movie. He would, he would make his, his cleats, like he would sharpen his spikes, and as he'd slide into second base, he'd stab people right in the freaking... I don't even know who that is. Ty Cobb, bad motherfucker. It's America's sport, buddy. And even Babe Ruth, like... Hey, I, he actually That's came over, very, and, and he's a big uh, Eagles fan. Yeah. Really? So I'm, it's, I'm, I'm happy he took football. Yeah. Sorry he took the Eagles. Yeah. Bad, <laughs> There's bad a couple choice. Giants fans over well, when here. When I first moved here, they just won the Super Bowl. So it was so like the best team. It, it, Ty Cobb, you'll like this as a fighter. He's, he's an unbelievably quotable. He was a quote machine. Right. and But like he wasn't like a happy guy. Like he meant nah, it yeah, when he, he was, was saying it. He was accused of killing a guy over a oh, gambling shit. debt. Yeah. Yeah. And he, uh, <laughs> they asked him. At his Hall of Fame induction, he was in the first class inducted into the Hall of Fame, and they were like, you know, now that the pitchers do this full time and everybody's throwing so hard and the athletes have caught up, you know, what do you think you'd bat in today's game? And he's like, ah, shit, I don't know, 290, 300. And they were like, wow, the incredible Ty Cobb, a man who hit over 400 three times, thinks he'd only hit 290 in today's game. He goes, well, yeah, I'm 67 years old, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Yeah, but we 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 don't and there's other guys too, man. There there's uh like crazy dudes like Red Grange and these guys that back in the day college football was more popular than pro football. And these guys were like, you know, they were seen that if you went if you were a professional football player, it was like you were a loser. It was like get a job, man. Yeah. Like what's wrong with you? 